I'm going to attempt my uh, 357 Magnum Smith & Wesson at the uh, Torn 40 Yard Gong. I've never done this before with this gun, with any 357 Magnum. So I'm not sure where to aim, but uh, I'm trying to figure that out. These are Hornady XTP hollow points. These are about as accurate of loads as I can make, so I won't have any excuse there. Oh, we got four wheeler coming again. We better hurry up and get this done. Oh, first shot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put uh, six rounds, and if I can't hit it again, then I can't hit it. I'll call it. Hit. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cool. Should have called that one. All right. Well, hey, I should show the gun now, right? Yeah. This is the uh, Smith & Wesson Model 27 Dash One, built in 1960. You can see it's got the extreme royal blue finish, although it's all uh, kind of gunky right now. It would have been better to do this before I shot it and have it wiped down, but uh, the story on these grips, these uh, they call these Coke bottle grips because of the shape here. Uh, somebody had some really dandy looking medallions installed here. These things were glued right over the grip screws, so you wouldn't have been able to get the grips off for maintenance or cleaning. The good thing is that lowered the uh, cost of the gun significantly. I guess I would like to have new grips for it, but these are very likely the originals, and I guess I can just live with that, you know, as a shooter. If I ever find a deal on stocks for that thing uh, that look better, I would definitely buy them, but uh, a nice set of these Coke bottle original Smith & Wesson grips in a nice dark walnut with good figure. Uh, they can go as high as $400 or maybe even more on eBay. So I don't really care to spend that much for it. Got the pin barrel recessed chambers and the uh, checkered top strap on that frame. Uh, it's got the Patridge front sight. Which I really like and the uh, checkered uh, rib there on top of the barrel. You can see it's got the original nice deep roll marks with the old style Smith & Wesson lettering and this is an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. Triggers on these things are just dreamy in single and double action. The reason they call this the Dash 1 is, I didn't mention before, is um, they changed the rotation of the ejector. Uh, they changed the thread direction, uh, either to right hand or to left hand, I, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, they changed it to left, because that's what the L is for right there. That means left hand thread for the ejector into the cylinder. And that was the Dash 1 improvement from the original Model 27. Bringing a camera along on these shooting trips really makes it a lot more fun. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.